Hello one and all, this is Paul James Caden with The Spirit Side, Journey Towards the Light. And I'm going to be doing a Spirit Box session this week with the PSB7 Spirit Box. And that is the uh, device you're seeing in the photo of this video. So let's uh, turn on the PSB7 and see what will come through, or rather who will come through for us this week. So let's just get this set up. And we're ready to go. I now humbly invite any spirits who wish to communicate to step forward now. And I would like to ask, is there anyone around me right now? And how many spirits are in the room with me at the moment? How many spirits are in the room with me at the moment? Would anyone like to share their name with me, please? Are all of you from this area that I live in, or are you from different areas? I'd also like to ask, why haven't all of you gone into the light at this particular time in your journey through the afterlife? Are you making the choice not to go into the light, or is someone barring you from the light? Which is it? Could you tell me if Earth is like a purgatory for some souls, as some scholars have believed in the past? I would like to ask again, is Earth a purgatory for some souls, as some scholars have believed in the past? Oh. 
What could you share with me about the afterlife? What is it like? several schools of thought about God in the afterlife. Some individuals believe that when we pass, when we die, we are absorbed back into the great whole and lose our individuality. Others believe that we keep our individuality. Can you tell me to the best of your knowledge, which one is it? Do we forever keep our individuality after death? That is. Or is it like others believe? We are absorbed back into the cosmic spiritual whole when we pass. Is that true? I have. I'd also like to ask what you could tell me about heaven and hell. Are they real and literal places or are they states of being? So we'll start with heaven. To the best of your ability, can you tell me, is heaven an actual place with an actual location somewhere out there in the dimensions. And what about hell? Is hell a literal place? Or is it, is it a state of being after we pass? Is hell a place of fiery torment, or is it simply the annihilation of consciousness, as some ancients believed? I personally believe it is the annihilation of consciousness, not a place of eternal torment. But spirits would know better, I suppose. So you tell me, is hell a literal place of fiery torment. Or is hell a place or rather just the annihilation of consciousness after death. Thank <laughs> you. 
Many people that have had near-death experiences say that love is the most important law that we could live by, to love one another and love God. Is that true? Is it true that the most important thing we can do in our lives is to love others and be kind and decent people? That is a common thread that many of us believe. Can you tell us, is that true? It sounded like someone mentioned blood and Jesus. What more could you tell me about that? Is it essential that one put their faith in Jesus in order to go into the light, into heaven, into the blissful place of the afterlife? Some say it's the most important thing. It's the only thing that opens the way. Others say it doesn't matter what we believe as long as we just love one another and we're good people. But what do you say in the afterlife? Is it essential that we put our faith in Christ? Well, I thank everyone who left answers or may have commented in this session today. I appreciate it as well as all of those who listen to these sessions that I record. So thank you again. We appreciate you and we'll talk again soon. Bye for now.